This is Elena Hoyos. On October 25, 1931, she died and was buried. Nine years later, in a small house in Key West, Florida, the world would learn her story. My name is Ronnie Thomas, and I'm a documentary filmmaker. Um, for the past seven years, my life's work has been trying to find strange and unusual topics to cover. I'd always been aware of the story of Carl von Kosel, but for some reason I developed an unceasing fascination with his case. It's one of the strangest true stories I've ever researched. In 1930s, Key West, Florida, Carl von Kosel dug up the remains of one of his former patients who he'd become obsessed with. Elena de Hoyos, and slept with her for seven years. The most interesting thing about this story is that what I just told you is the least interesting thing about this story. The story of Von Koso is a surrealistic melodrama, and it has everything from ghosts to mad scientists to psychic premonitions, on top of having a man who did indeed spend seven years sleeping next to a corpse. My goal is to take this story and make a film that is as strange and unusual as the story itself. And the way I'm gonna do that is by using what I consider to be some pretty innovative techniques that'll separate this film from just your everyday documentary. First off, and one of the most interesting things that I think we're gonna be doing is, rather than using actors to recreate the scenes, uh, we're gonna be using puppetry by award-winning puppeteer Robin Frohart. The narrative is going to be driven by experts, um, not only historians and people who, who are familiar with the case, but also morticians, psychologists, social anthropologists, people who can really get inside what was actually happening with this story. Some of the more gruesome aspects of the story will be supplied by special effects artist Shane Morton and his Silver Screen FX lab in Atlanta, Georgia. Combining all these elements together in a cinematic way, the puppetry, the special effects, the first person narrative, I think is going to tell this story the way that it can only be told in a very bizarre and unusual manner. I'm kind of trying to leverage the success of my web series, The Midnight Archive, my residency at the Morbid Anatomy Museum and my work with them, to my award-winning short film, Walter Potter, The Man Who Married Kittens, to help support the production of this film. I truly hope you'll consider backing this project and sharing with people you think might be interested. We can use all the help we can get. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support.